It's been a week since the announcement and release of Overwatch Workshop on the PTR, and users have been creating some really cool game modes. If you're unfamiliar with the Workshop, it's an in-game scripting system added by the Overwatch developers, allowing players to customize the way the game works to their own liking. People have been busy showing off their creativity, developing never-before-possible game modes, and even their own heroes. The Overwatch Workshop also has another side effect. It may make players interested in learning game development outside of Overwatch. Whether you're one of those people who wants to learn how to start making video games, or just wants to gain a little bit of coding knowledge to get better use out of the Overwatch Workshop, this is the video for you. Let's assume that you want to learn game development so you can code and make games for PC or mobile devices. The Overwatch Workshop does a great job making coding accessible for anyone who is interested. However, it doesn't teach you how to write code, although it does give you some insight into coding logic. Let's compare the Workshop to writing code in a program called MonoDevelop, which is used in tandem with other applications such as Unity. In the Workshop, you create rules, which are blocks of code that get called or activated when certain conditions are met. In MonoDevelop and the C-sharp language which we are using here, these rules are referred to as methods, and it's essentially the same idea. When a certain condition is met, a block of code is called. These conditions can be anything. They can be called when the game starts, every frame, when two objects collide, or simply when you ask it to run. Next, the workshop uses conditions, which are simply additional conditions that must be met in order for the code to execute. In MonoDevelop, these would be if statements, which set additional criteria. For instance, the update method checks every frame for a condition to be met. You would add code here to look for button input that makes the player move and jump. You may want to use an if statement here to make sure the player is on the ground before they can initiate a jump. And finally, the workshop uses actions to make certain events happen once all the conditions have been met. In MonoDevelop, these actions are our actual code, and like the workshop, this is often extremely versatile. You can actually see some of the written code here in the Overwatch Workshop, and it's quite similar to how you would see some code within MonoDevelop. So if you're looking to kickstart coding and game development as either a hobby or a possible career choice, here's what I'm going to recommend. Get started by downloading and learning Unity, coupled with the programming language C Sharp. This is an extremely versatile language that's not overly difficult to learn. Unity is free for personal use and it can be used to develop games for PC, Android, and iOS. Next, I have several playlists on my YouTube channel that you can follow and learn from to get a basic understanding of this software and the programming language. My Create a Pong Clone series is completely finished and ready for you to binge. And I also have a Tetris and Snake clone tutorial series, which is partially released, still partially in development. If you really want an awesome full course that will teach you Unity development, and you're willing to invest a small amount of money, then I'm going to recommend you sign up for a course on Udemy, taught by Ben Tristam. This is the same course that I learned game development from a few years ago. It's an amazing course, and it's constantly being updated with new content, and it has a community that you can ask questions to and get answers from. Links for all of these recommendations can be found in this video's description. Whatever path you choose, I wish you the best of luck and hope you have fun learning how to make games.